here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier integral welcome to video number six and in this video we are going to solve fifth problem on the topic that is Fourier integral so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from these videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier integral with your friends okay by doing this you are supporting me okay and i really need your support so let us start with the question that is express f of x equals to 1 when the range of x is from 0 to pi and f of x becomes 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay as a Fourier sine integral and hence evaluate integration 0 to infinity 1 minus cos pi lambda upon lambda into sine x lambda d lambda okay we need to evaluate this part also okay so first of all we need to apply Fourier sine integral okay this part is asked in the problem this part is given in the problem that is for this function okay we need to go for pi Fourier sine integral okay as we know that Fourier sine integral for function f of x is given by 2 open pi okay 2 open pi integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x integration 0 to infinity f of t sine lambda t into t d lambda okay here we have for function f of x okay for function uh, f, uh, f of x equals to 1 when x is ranging from 0 to infin uh, 0 to pi but when the value of x is from pi to infinity in that case function becomes 0 okay so instead of writing 0 to infinity we can write 0 to pi and pi to infinity but for 0 to pi this will become 1 and for pi to infinity that will become 0 so we are not writing limit 0 uh, pi to infinity okay because that function will become 0 okay that does not exist so coming to this part that is this is f of t but this is f of x okay so we are changing the variable okay so this is going to be 2 open pi as it is integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x integration 0 to pi this will become 1 okay when the limit is from 0 to pi the function becomes 1 okay so f of t will become 1 sine lambda t dt d lambda now we are going to integrate this part okay very 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 easy i believe 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda t now integration of sin will become minus cos so minus cos lambda t upon coefficient of t that is lambda okay again the limit is from 0 to pi don't forget to write this t lambda here okay now 2 upon pi is as it is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x as it is if you put upper limit here this will become minus of cos lambda uh, pi pi lambda if you put lower limit here, this will become upper limit negative lower limit will be positive on putting t equal to 0 this will become cos 0 cos 0 is how much 1 okay upon this lambda is as it is don't forget to write d lambda here okay and finally what is f of x that is 2 upon pi integration 0 to lambda sorry 0 to infinity sin lambda x okay simply changing the uh, this is plus 1, uh, 1 minus cos pi lambda upon lambda and this is d lambda and this is the final answer okay but in the question two things are asked okay that is first first part is we need to find the Fourier sine integral for this function and apart from that we need to evaluate this part okay now to evaluate second part that is this part we will take this 2 open pi here okay so integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x 1 minus cos pi lambda upon lambda d lambda equals to if you take this 2 upon pi here this will become pi upon 2 f of x okay and what is f of x here we have f of x that is f of x equals to 1 when the value of x ranges from 0 to pi and f of x is 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so simply write this will become pi by 2 into f of x and f of x is 1 when the value of x is from 0 to pi and this f of x becomes 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so simply multiply pi by 2 with f of x that is pi by 2 into 1 that is pi by 2 when the value of x is from 0 to pi and this will become 0 because pi by 2 into 0 will become 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so finally we have solved this part that is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x 1 minus cos pi lambda upon lambda d lambda equals to pi by 2 when the value of x ranges from 0 to pi and this becomes 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay and this was asked in the second part of this problem as you can see okay so we have solved successfully the second part also okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you